of our uh, class okay it has uh, a number of properties usually these are called the properties the variables within the class are called the properties and the subroutines and uh, yeah are called methods okay and you can have functions as well uh, as many functions and uh, methods and subroutines uh, sorry as uh, many functions and subroutines as you want in a class and uh, yeah so now let's uh, start working on this and create uh, create the graphical user interface so here let's call this address book okay this is our address book application and uh, we are gonna make a menu strip here so contact let's select add and this one will be remove and uh, yeah we will have add and remove okay so now uh, we are removing this previous subroutine what we are gonna do is define an array to store the contacts so now dimension uh, contact list 0 to to a thousand okay as I said before uh, if you are having a structure the array uh, will will be pointing to 1000 structure okay uh, the computer will assign the resources to 1000 structure okay however since we are using a class here uh, it will uh, it will uh, be ready to point to 1000 uh, instance of that class it will not consume uh, as much mem uh, uh, memory resources as you might have imagined okay we will we will assign uh, values uh, sorry we will create the object as uh, as we need okay uh, yeah so now this will be contact information and dimension C as integer uh, C here will be used to point uh, sorry C will be used to point to uh, sorry uh, to uh, tell me how many items do I have in my contact list okay so for now we will have to uh, assign this to zero because when when you start the number of items in your list is zero and you will add these items with time okay so go to form one and uh, let's get a data grid view where's data grid view this one data grid view okay nice We are gonna call this DGT to make it easy, and uh, we'll search for the anchor property. Select all the sides. Okay, and we will add a number of columns. Okay, we will add the first column. It will be the name will be visible and read only add the second one it will be address add the last one will be telephone add close okay okay uh, we will not enable add adding we will not enable editing and we will not enable deleting okay uh, also auto size column mode we will select full so that it will fill all of the display okay and the selection mode will, will be let me change where is the selection mode go down oh, selection mode we will select the 
select uh, four row select we will select the whole row okay now whenever we want to add an item the number of items increase so c equals c plus one now first thing to do is to assign the required memory resources into that location into the location uh, sorry into the contact information we need so it it will be like this contact info of c minus one because we are starting over from zero equals a new contact info okay now uh, sorry uh, contact this is contact list I'm sorry contact list yeah now uh, a new contact info will assign the required memory resources into a contact information data structure and return it and this usually is called an object so in this case contact list of zero will be pointing to an object when you hear the word object it means a class uh, sorry it, it means uh, memory resources representing the class itself okay it, uh, uh, when I told you the example about uh, I can have a car but I don't have a car when, uh, the object in our case is the car itself okay if you are having a car okay so you have an object you are working with an object so con a new contact information will will give you a working contact information data structure that you will be able to read and display if you just uh, if you just uh, uh, if you leave it as it is it will it will only point to an empty space okay now after you uh, after you create the object you will have to read the information so contact info uh, sorry contact list of c minus one dot read contact information you are reading the contact information now you might want to add this one to the to the data grid view so dgv dot rows dot add okay you can do this in two ways either create a subroutine to add all uh, the the content or you can access the elements or the attributes of the of the object one by one and add them it's up to you so we're gonna do it uh, this way c minus one dot name contact list c minus one dot address and uh, contact list c minus one dot t e l telephone okay now let's run this one okay let's change the size a little bit and select add smith the address uk telephone one two three contact add Michael address US 456 and contact add mm, John and address Canada and the telephone 789 okay as you can see it's uh, it's very easy to work with the uh, classes they are not uh, that difficult and makes the code very easy uh, to understand okay now uh, when we want to remove on one of the entries here okay we will depend on the name we will assume that the names are unique uh, this is not the best way to do it but uh, well it is a way to do it anyway so um this is how we are uh, how we uh, how we will do things uh, we will go to the remove and write its code first we check if there are no rows selected uh, so if the gv dot rows dot uh, uh, sorry dot selected selected rows dot count 
equals zero, then exit sub. We will exit the sub 